I'm Veronica Bloodworth and I'm Senior Vice President of Construction and Engineering at AT&T. I lead a team of about 22,000 professionals. There are engineers and technicians out there who basically build the wireline and wireless networks for all of AT&T. We're also out there building it for autonomous cars, for drone deliveries, for virtual reality, any technology that's going to rely heavily on mobile networks. So we have teams of people across the nation working in all types of environments to get that network equipment deployed and to ensure our customers stay connected wherever they live, work, or play. Whether that's the extreme heat of Death Valley to the rural areas of Alaska to you know 5,000 feet above sea level in the Colorado mountaintops, you can almost bet anywhere you go in this country an ATT technician has been there ahead of you. AT&T invests more than any other publicly traded company, about $20 billion a year. And for us, that means everything from advanced technologies like software-defined networks to shovels in the ground to build one of the largest fiber networks in the world. And, you know, I'll just say AT&T has been building and maintaining networks for over 100 years, and we are hands down one of the best in the world at it. You know, we also make sure our customers stay connected during big events. You know, big events are unique in that it draws thousands of people to a very small geographic area. So we spend months planning and deploying cell sites on wheels and distributed antenna systems to these big events to ensure that our customers have the best experience they can have while they're attending whatever event that is, if it's a concert or it's Coachella or a, a big game. Small cells play a big role in densifying our network, which means we're bringing connection points closer to our customers, which is important as we lay the foundation for 5G. As small cells are a very innovative technology, ideal for bolstering coverage and capacity in areas that would be very difficult for us to reach uh, with a macro site. When we talk about building out our next generation network technologies, it's important to remember that we're actually out there building it from the ground up. You know, we're in suburban neighborhoods, we're in rural areas, we're in the urban cities, actually out there laying the fiber, installing the small cells, and increasing the capacity on our macro sites. We're taking what's on paper and we're bringing it to life. Thank you.